No, the electoral campaign of 2021 was extremely focused on domestic issues. The principal themes were how to tackle climate change and achieve the transition to clean energy sources and how to combine the fight against climate change with the need for social justice. An additional topic, of course, was the COVID-19 pandemic in order to take stock of the past performance of public actors and define new strategies. But none of these topics were really discussed in a European perspective or in relation with our most important neighbour country being France. On the one hand, one can assess this positively and underline that neither European integration nor the Franco-German partnership are controversial issues in Germany. In contrast to other countries, notably France, there is, apart from the far-right Alternative for Deutschland, no vocal opposition to European integration. On the other hand, it is a pity that public debate, not only in Germany but in many other member states, is so much focused on national issues. It would be good if there were more discussion in Germany about future models of European unification. Not much. France is only mentioned twice in the whole document. The previous coalition agreement, that of the last Merkel government, was a lot more vocal about Franco-German cooperation. The European Union appeared already in the very first lines of the agreement then. Whereas the new coalition lets us wait until the seventh chapter to give its viewpoints on Europe. But that doesn't mean that the new coalition is bad news for France. On the contrary, the red, green, yellow government is sending out many friendly signals to France. The agreement mentions frequently a more sovereign and autonomous European Union and explicitly mentions the objective of strategic sovereignty of Europe, themes and ideas dear to President Macron. On the other hand, the content of these ideas has not yet been clarified. Do France and Germany mean the same thing when they talk about strategic sovereignty? And what are we ready to do in order to accomplish this objective? The new government makes in its coalition agreement a bold commitment which is to achieve a federal European state by calling in a European constitutional convention elaborating the necessary treaty changes. A federal European state, however, is not an objective pursued by the current French government and which is not popular among the French population. We will see whether the new coalition will make any steps to advance towards this goal. Other differences concern obviously the way to tackle climate change. Here, the two countries take very different paths. Germany abandons nuclear energy and wants to achieve the transition to a carbon-free economy by increasing drastically the share of renewables. France, on the contrary, wants to reinvest into nuclear energy and turn it into the solution for the climate crisis. On other issues, we'll see which position the new government will take. Will it agree with taking up common European debt as was done in response to the Covid crisis? Or will it rather consider it as an exceptional measure not to be extended?